Yo, what's going on people? Welcome back to a new video. Um, in today's video, I'm going to show you how I made the beat to Comeback by Speezy. Let's get into it, eh? Call this a comeback, or cash? Done that. Wanna charge, run that. Live large, have done that. Call this a comeback, or cash? Yeah, done that. where is he? So let's where open up our project file here. Um, I want to start doing more um, beat breakdowns to any song that gets produced by me. Um, I feel like it would be cool inspiration for somebody that's starting out to make beats and all that sort of stuff. Now the MIDI file for this is available in the link in the description below in my first MIDI pack. Um, and it is 50% off for anyone that's um, joined the exclusive, which is my Patreon page. Um, so make sure you check that out in the link in the description for more content and all that sort of shit. Now here's the, um, the beat, full beat. It goes for about uh, 3 minutes and 26 seconds. Uh, I'm just going to go through all the um, elements to this beat. Um, if you haven't heard the beat, this is how it sounds. And here comes the drop. This beat is running at 103 BPM. And um, we've got to add that bass line coming up here. It's a very simple beat. Very simple beat. So um, starting off with the first element, we'll turn all this off. So the first thing we started with was this bass line. So let's open up and check out the MIDI. So um, let's play the... Um, here we go. That's the bass. And this, this bass is from Nexus. Oh, we didn't save which um, bass line it is. That sucks. I can't show which uh, bass line is uh, being used in this um, beat. Anyways, moving on. Um, so yeah, that's the bass line. And then here's some of the effects that I put on. So, you know, got my EQ on there. A little bit of fruity delay too. And then a bit of uh, chorus. And then some drip, of course. Got to have some of that. Two clicks and it's perfect. Um, I compressed it a little bit to give it more um, richness and all that sort of shit. And then I put a limiter on it to... Um, I think I, um, I sidechain the kick to the 8 weight so they're not clashing too much. Alright, so that's the first element to this. Um, so let's start with the next one, which was the bells. So here's how the bell sounds. So then here's all the notes. Very simple. Don't need it to be too complicated. And let's see if this shows the bell that we used. Ah, crystal bells. So it's in uh, Nexus under bells. I don't know if it's from a pack, one of the um, special packs. Not too sure. Um, anyway, so that's the the bell. I'll show you what I added to it. Oh, let's play the um the pattern. So I've got an EQ on it, just to cut out a lot of the the rubbish, so it doesn't clash with the kicks and add weights got a little bit of fruity delay on there very subtle stuff um, added a bit of um, pretty chorus to it and then of course drip um, and then compressed it a little bit 
Now this is my old, older style of mixing because this beat was made a little while ago. So um, you'll see in a new beat that I've done that it, the mixing um, is a lot cleaner, a lot um, sleeker. So um, anyways, so moving on to the next element of the beat, which is the Asian string here. So this is what it sounds like. <clears throat> Very simple. See what the mini looks like. So, you can see the notes there. Very simple. And now this um, string is from Citrus, which is an FL Studio stock plugin. And it's under Synth String, um, Asian String, as you can see here. So that's the uh, one that I used. It's a very cool string. Um, so I'll show you what I used on the mixer. So I added an EQ to it. Um, added a bit of drip, lo-fi, of course. A um, bit of fruity chorus. And a compressor. And... Um, Here's how it sounds with um, this bass line. <clears throat> so it just adds a little bit of flavor to when that bass line plays because it's going to be playing on its own in the gaps here, as I'll show you later on. Um, and I also added a um, automation so that the um, string plays um, softer at the start of the song and then gets... Um, louder at the end of the beat so um so this is where it sounds at each part it's very subtle i don't want it too dominant because then it gets annoying and then you got this see it gets a little bit louder and then at the end it's so then if you play Full uh, melody together. We play here. <clears throat> Sounds pretty cool. So I'm um, moving on. We got a clean clap, which um, which is from the Simon Savita pack, I think. Let's see if we can find it. Oh, there it is. So that's um, from Simon Savita's um, Captain Drum Kit um, 4. So I just got this very simple clap pattern. <clears throat> now I didn't add a like the roll for the clap this time I just added the um the two step that's the clap so then you play that with the melody <coughs> let's see what I added to the mix up I added a little bit of Thumbmanix Diablo and I always use the boost. So that's what I use. Shout out to Cymatics for the cool plugins. There you go. So then the next thing we added was a trap hi-hat, which is also from Simon Savita's um, drum kit. I think I added it here. There you go, the trap hi-hat. So here's the hi-hat pattern. Very simple. Again, very simple. Everything's simple. Then you play that with the clap. And then with the uh, bell melody. And 
So you can see everything just builds. It's pretty cool. Um, now the next element is the kick. So here's the kick pattern, which I think is from. Uh, let's see. Where it is. Industry kicks. So I think that's um, Super Star Rose um, drum kit, which is here. Dog. I said here. So that's the kick. Now these um, I always used to use the industry kicks because everything in here is made to um, fit each other. Like the 808 and the kick is meant to go to meant to go together. So I always used to use that. Still sometimes use them. So yeah, that's the um, kick pattern. So if you play that together with the clap and the hi-hats and the rest of it. Oh, let's play it. Cool. So then the next thing that I added was the 808, of course, which is, again, from that um, drum pack on the dog. It's very hard hitting um, 808. So um, here's the 808 pattern. Which very much resembles the, the bass line, as you can see. Usually the um, 808 pattern is going to follow the the bass line, so um, so that's it there. I've got all my effects on it and shit, filters. So then you play that with the everything else. I'll show you what I added to the uh, mixer. Oh, I forgot to show what I did with the hi hats. So um, so I added um an EQ to it, and then that's about it. And I added this little compressor, kind of keep everything nice and tight. Uh, with the kick, I added um some Max Diablo, and I think I used oh yeah, basic knock in the presets there. Keeps everything nice and crisp. Um, and then, of course, use Diablo on the 808 with the blaster preset. And of course, I side changed it um, to the to the kick. So that's what they sound like together. So then the next thing I added was the rim pattern, which again, very simple. Um, play it here. Oh, helps if I play it, eh? It's very subtle. You don't want it too loud. Um, so I added to the perks, um, I added an EQ to it. Cuts out all the shit in between. And then I added X, I think, which is um, Kyle Beats' his plugin. Oh, and I used Ghost. Here. In the effects. So it keeps it, um, it adds like a little bit of effect to it, as well as um, keeping it not too loud which is what you want for the perks. Um, here's how it sounds with the rest of the beat pattern. Ooh, play. Cool. So then the next thing that I added, the last thing really, um, with the um, pattern here, is the crash 
which is very simple. It's just a simple crash. Oh. Which is from the Cybermatics pack. Um, it's on the Pharaoh. Uh, crashes. Oh, no. Crashes. I think it's this one. So that's it there. Transhumanism. Crash. Whatever you want to call that. <laughs> so, uh, so that's how it sounds all together. Oh, what did I add to it on the mixer? Just EQ, really. Oh, just EQ. Oh, it sneeze. All right. So here's how it all sounds together. That I'll put that on pretty much every single uh, spot there. As you can see. Oh, so that's pretty much everything there with the main part. And then the other thing that I added, of course, is my beat tag. Here's how that sounds. Young Brizzy. Which I don't really add anything to it on the mixer. I just set it set its level. So I use it all the time. So, um, and then the last thing I added was this riser that I use uh, reverse um, symbol. That I pretty much use in just about every single beat, just because um, it's not too loud. And I add it just about everywhere for the drops, as you can hear here. And that's pretty much the whole beat to um, come back. Let me show you how long it took me to make this beat. It took me an hour and 50 minutes, just about two hours. Um, and I'd probably take like 15 minutes off that because um, that's usually the time that it um, took to um, render all the videos and all that sort of stuff. So that is the full beat to come back by Speezy. Make sure you check out the full song. The full song will be a link in the description box below. And also make sure you check follow Speezy as well on all of his socials. I'll put it um, in the description box as well. Um, also make sure you follow me on um, Patreon under the exclusive. Um, you'll get access to more content, bonus content, and um, early access to videos. And of course, um, a massive discounts on my MIDI packs and um, all that sort of stuff. Uh, make sure you check it all out, and um, I'll see you in the next video. Cheers, bye. My adrenaline, a room full of estrogen. Been a second since I let loose, so I'm off the hand again. Sipping a lemon drops of rock martini. Give you some tip of life advice to Mr. Feeny. Mr. Feeny, maybe Dr. Phil or even Oprah. Thank you, Fetty Wap and Jay to kiss with the exposure. Fans in Netherlands, yeah, even Nova.